Good morning, afternoon, evening, or night. Wherever in the world you are, I am David Zane Aarons, and I am streaming live directly to your brain! I regret to inform you that I have been elected by secret committee to be this Twitch channel's benevolent dictator for life. Tonight's docket will include... Surprise! More Chrono Trigger! Lots of Chrono Trigger. Always Chrono Trigger. Chrono Trigger all the time. Chrono Trigger for life. And now, Internet, I solemnly request that you rise to your feet, eat your weight in Rice Krispies until you, too, become a puffed person at one with the universe. Lay a hand, preferably your own, but I respect your choices, to your heart, and recite with me the latest revision of the Cyber Pledge. I am the player. I seek fun and entertainment. I deserve the respect and indeed the righteous fear of developers and publishers everywhere. Entertain me and be honest with me, and I will pour out my wallet to you. Disregard me, or treat me as a child, and you will wither in the sun. And with that, let us play more Chrono Trigger. Now, let's see, where exactly were we last time? We were just about to head over to another one of these islands. I really do not remember exactly. We definitely had fought those new things uh, the last time. This may not be the way. I'm not entirely sure which way we are supposed to go. Um, well, we're down here now. So, yeah, for those of you who have not watched previous episodes, we are playing a fan translation of this game. I know it is actually a game that was translated into English already, but we are playing the non-Ted Woolsey version of the script. I've never actually played the original script version of the game, so I'm sure it's fine. I know it's generally well regarded. It's not treated as a game that was, like, ruined by Woolsey, because Woolsey was generally not an awful writer anyway. He just was idiosyncratic. But, uh, in any case, uh, some fans felt that they wanted to retranslate it. And so, this is the game as retranslated by Dr. L. You can find this uh, translation at romhacking.net. I believe uh, the... I don't remember the URL enough to give it to you specifically. This is the magical city Kajarl. Kajarl? I'm not sure. That could be Scandinavian. We carry out various research for the Queen's plans to bring yet more light to Zeal. Okay, then. Uh, these statues are a little creepy. You know that? Uh, maybe you should do something about that? You're going to weird people out here. Hmm? Your power seems to have a slightly different feel to it than that of the Enlightened Ones. What could it be? I sense a mysterious kindness. Well, thank you. I guess. Oh, do we have another one of these puzzles where we have to open magical books in a certain order, possibly, in order to get into a secret place? Like we did last time to fight those news. I've heard that if you were to combine the rainbow shell from the primeval era with the sunstone, you can make magnificent weapons and armor. But now the only one with such skill is the Philosopher of Life. Queen Zeal's also ordered to abandon the planet's power. And, uh, oh, I am being messaged. I hear a sound. And, like, okay. Ah! Okay. Don't mind me. I'm just checking messages. No, computer, I don't need to do that. Ah, flowers are so beautiful and content. I want to be a flower. This is a recovery spring. Okay, that's a little out of context, but hey, sure. If being a flower has to do with healing, I suppose it could. What you see on the small southern continent is the former Sun Temple. We had enshrined the sunstone that stored up the planet's power there, but ever since we started using a new energy source, it's been completely shut off, just like the northern shrine. They say we don't need the energy of this old planet anymore. Hmm. Suspicious. Hey, it's another one of these new guys. Who does not have a lot to say, but does have some stuff he can sell us. I don't think we need anything. Um, I wish you had some mid-ethers, because I have a, some regular ethers, and I'm getting low on the mid-ethers. But okay. We can do it. I have platinum armor here, but I can't sell it without the queen's permission. Oh, well, we will probably go get that. More books. We need to figure out what the order is, because I just kind of fumbled around last time in the other building. Those called the Earthbound Ones lack magical power and have long since lived under the clouds. After all, they aren't people with special powers like we are. <laughs> to industry! We're not special, not like us. Not like us special people. Okay. Oh my, you have a peculiar spirit. I suppose you can use the arts as well. But they would seem to be quite primitive compared with ours. Ho <laughs> ho, I don't like these people. These people are dicks. Where might our powers have come from in the first place? Why do both those with the power of magic and those without exist? Hmm. You guys, like, you have been way too wrapped up in your academia for too long, I think, and it is starting to eat your souls because you are just... I don't care for your tone. I don't like it. Hey, talk to this guy. 
Queen Zima has two children, Sarah and Giaki. Sarah is a magnificent child. She possesses extraordinarily magical powers. With that much power, she'll have a glorious life, because that's what it's all about. It's all about power. Nobody cares about anything else. Nobody cares if you're a good person. We've seen Giaki unusually often lately. It seems that he walks all around upset about something. Well, okay. He only talks to his older sister, Sarah, and that cat he always keeps around. Oh, is Giaki that kid that told us one of us was going to die? Just what is it that Giaki sees and hears? Okay, we have been down here. Two doors! Too many choices! I don't know. I can't... Ah, where do I go? I'm going to go through this one. And we'll go through the other one in a minute. What lies in the depths of the central ocean is proof of the queen's greatness, the ocean floor temple. The ocean floor temple will become the source of radiance that guides all life. Oh, great queen zeal! Okay. Many earthbound ones are assigned to... Y'all need to get out of the library. I agree with Phoenix. Like, you have some problems. Like, it, like reading is great. I'm a big proponent of reading. I intend to be a writer myself, but holy cow, y'all. Many earthbound ones are assigned to the temple construction at the bottom of the ocean. Even they have times when they're useful. Jeez, you... Oh, these people. Behold, that huge bird is the blackbird that the Philosopher of Reason, Gash, designed. The way it freely dances through the sky makes it look just like it's alive. Gash truly is amazing. The ocean floor temple is still under construction. It's a bit behind schedule. An eternal temple on the floor of the blue sea. I'm certain it will be beautifully splendid once it's done. He gets a different voice because he looks like an old man. And so he gets my generic old man voice. Okay then. So, into the other door now, I suppose. There's some shiny stuff in here. Here in Zeal are the three philosophers of life, time, and reason. There are none who can match them in wisdom and skill. Zeal has prospered more so through the use of a new energy far more powerful than the planet's powers of heaven, dark fire, and water. I've heard rumors that a mysterious prophet appeared at the palace. I don't know the details, but I've heard he's the owner of an amazing magical power. Uh, why do I suspect that's Magus? <laughs> like, I feel like that has to be Magus. Okay, I can't talk to this guy. Oh, hey, another old man. I'm researching a magical capsule to boost the power of arts, but my precious capsules have been vanishing lately. I've no doubt that mischievous news hiding them on me. Dag nabbit, it's annoying. Well, I'm sorry, sir. Hold it, that capsule's an unfinished sample. Oh, hold it, that capsule's an unfinished sample. Too bad. <laughs> okay, fine. Jeez. This is just a rumor, but they say Sarah's magical powers far surpass even the powers of her mother, the queen. Her brother, Giacchi, on the other hand, even though he is of the royal lineage, it seems he has absolutely no magical powers. Are you sure about that? Because he ran past us and freaked us out a little earlier. I'm fairly certain that, like, or maybe that was his cat? I don't know. Water calls wind. Wind makes fire dance. So, is that supposed to be, like, telling us about the weakness chart, maybe? Perhaps? Or, like, something that enhances? I once learned from the philosophers that they were able to store up the infinite power of the sun in a sunstone. However, when it used up its power, it lost its radiance and became a darkness stone or something like that. Did you know, travelers, if you lay a darkness stone in a place where the sun hits, it can regain its lost radiance. However, you need a mind-bogglingly long period of time for that to happen. I doubt I'll ever again lay eyes on that radiance. Well, we're time travelers, so we don't have any problem with that. We can just... Have you tried calling the doctor? Because I think he, there's this... He's got the TARDIS. He can, he can help you out with that. Um... Well, should I fiddle around with the book puzzle until we do something and stumble into something somewhere? Because... Well, that doesn't appear to be it. I'm just gonna fiddle around, I guess. Good puzzle! Good puzzle. I love this game, but this is, there's no indication of what order you're supposed to do these in. So, Oh, you could be right about that, actually, Phoenix. That could be the password about the order in which to open the books. Let's see. I think that has to be water down there. Yeah, maybe you're going to help out here. So, water, wind, fire, maybe? So, bottom left middle. Let's try it. You're so smart, Phoenix. You may have figured out the puzzle. Like, and I was just trashing on the puzzle design, like, oh, this is such a poorly designed puzzle, they don't give you any hints. And I was like, well, it's probably a hint just right in front of my eyes. Um, did that do a thing? I don't know. 
did it do a thing? If so, where did it do a thing? Or is it... No, I'm... I feel like this one over here has to be wind, doesn't it? Well, it could be water. I don't know, they look kind of interchangeable. Like... So, this one could be water. We can try it. Which, actually, this is the order I was about to do them in uh, when I first... Ha! Ah, ha ha! Ha ha! Yep, you're right. I guess that first one is supposed to be wind. It just... It looked way more like water than wind to me, but whatever. <laughs> okay, tens of millions of years ago, humanity's ancestors happened to take a fragment from a mysterious red rock. Everything started from there. A power that surpassed human knowledge gave rise to dreams and gave birth to love and hate. What manner of ending will that see? Perhaps only time knows the answer. Okay, well, found something of an unknown nature. Did we just pick up that, like, little monster? You are smart, Phoenix Wings. A black rock came out. Uh, maybe that's a darkness stone that we need to go recharge in the past? I'm not actually sure. But in any case, we got a thing, so... <laughs> hey you, new guy who told us about it. Do you have anything to say about this? No, you don't. You're just going to repeat your hint that I didn't realize was a hint. Because I am dense today. And let's go. I think we've seen all there is to see in here. Um, the blackbird. Where should I go into the small cave? Maybe I should go into the small cave? Yeah, just walk into the column of light. There can't possibly be anything dangerous about that. I'm sure that that's just a portal and not, you know, like, the sun being amplified to fry us or anything like that. And this is why I love you, Phoenix. It absolutely is. Phoenix Wings is the chat mod, but also my girlfriend, for those of you who are either watching who are not familiar with the show, because we are usually, Phoenix is the only viewer we have, but or who are watching in the VOD, so. This is the Queen's Palace, the heart of our Zeal Kingdom, which means it's surely the heart of the universe. Oh, yeah, that's, that's totally not an arrogant way of looking at things. Queen's children, Sarah and Giaki, truly have a good relationship as siblings. If only Giaki would open his heart a little more to others besides Sarah. Oh, that pendant you're carrying, it looks a lot like Sarah's, but it doesn't have a mystic radiance like Sarah's pendant does. Are you sure? Because we've we've opened up some uh, some gates through time with it, so pretty sure there's something mystic about it. The source of our great energy sleeps deep in the ocean floor. As, it is, as its exact position has been confirmed, the current ocean floor temple construction project has been put into practice. Good to know. I've heard that the entrance to the ocean floor temple is in the Queen's Hall. The temple is incomplete as yet, though. Can I read your book? Can I look in your book? Can I make fire or wind or water come out of your book? A traveling prophet is the real thing. He's dead on with anything and everything. It's just like he already knows what's going to happen. It's uncanny. Yeah, I'm gonna bet that's Magus. I'm just, I'm just gonna call it. Oh, oh no, Phoenix, it's you. You're calling me on the phone. Why are you calling me? Stop it. Oh my, you look extremely unusual. Have you traveled quite far? You should use the spring of recovery to heal the fatigue of travel. Well, I just did by accident, actually. That could be where Lavos fell. I'm not sure. Do you like greenery? Yeah. Well, I also like them very much, but the Queen said to burn up this sapling that I revived, received from the Philosopher of Life, and yet the Philosopher said that it's a mysterious sapling with the power to protect plant life. Ah, uh, what should I do? Plant it somewhere secret secretly, secretly, of course. <laughs> Mowage. Mowage is what brings us together. You're right! Even on the Queen's orders, burning up what I received from the Philosopher, understood. I will plant this sapling with care somewhere. It may someday be of use for someone who protects greenery. I bet that does a thing. If I can be reborn, I want to live on the earth along with greenery. At least there's somebody in this place that isn't a total jerk, apparently. My back, scratch for a bit? <laughs> sure. Yay, yippee. Yeah, there, there. Oh, phew, thanks. Discovered the new scratch points. Okay, what does that do? Sure, again, 
I... Yeah, so I don't know what that does. I'm not sure if that does anything. May not do anything. That man wandered into the palace a little while ago and earned the Queen's trust with his reliable predictions. Nobody knows where he came from. He's not one of us enlightened ones, and of course there's no way he's of the earthbound ones. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna take I'm gonna go out on a limb and say he's probably Magus, in which case he's probably pretty evil. Did you know of this, travelers? In, in Hassa and Kajarl, or Kajarl, they, uh, Kajarl, they say the Philosopher of Reason, Gash, has secret rooms. Yeah, we've, we've run into a couple of those, actually. If you want to know about the demonic vessel or ocean floor temple, the three philosophers or the queen are the best ones to ask, but just between us, there's no telling how the queen would respond as she is now. Yeah, that sounds ominous. Oh, hey, it's uh, some of those guys dancing around up there. Previously, the Queen's aide, Dalton, managed the Ocean Floor Temple project himself, and now the Traveling Prophet is advancing the plans. You'll have to make sure not to get near Dalton for a while. He's really ticked off. Yeah, I bet he is. They replaced him with Pierce Brosnan. When we complete the Ocean Floor Temple, the Zeal Kingdom will be enveloped in eternal light. No longer will there be, there be either fear or sorrow. Just endless tranquility awaits us. Yeah, I'm, I'm so sure. That, that is exactly what's going on. Surely the Queen is born suffering and sorrow by herself that she can tell no one of, don't you think? When you gain something great, the loss too is great. The zeal of today exists thanks to that. Okay, well that's vague as hell. This leads to the bedrooms. It does it now? Is that a place I should be going? I don't know. Let's just wander into some bedrooms. They say Sarah's pendant was made from the same red stone as the demonic vessel. I've heard that when Sarah takes the pendant in hand and prays to the demonic vessel, it gives off a mysterious radiance. Wait, what was that again? Yeah... Oh, that's weird. That is weird. What, new team member, Phoenix Wings? I, uh, maybe I wasn't paying enough attention to the dialogue to see if it was hinted at. Sarah! Oh, welcome back. Is something wrong, Jockey? The Black Wind. You feel it? The ominous spirit? It's going to be fine. You don't need to worry. Here, take this. This? It's a charm. My prayers are held in it to protect you, just in case. I wish they could always stay by your side, but Mother's plans. That bitch isn't our mother. The appearance is Mother's, but she's something different on the inside. Wow. You apparently don't kiss your mother with that mouth, I would assume. And yet for me, I'm sorry, Jackie. Please excuse me, Sarah. Please excuse me, Sarah. The Queen calls. She would like to have you descend to the Ocean Temple immediately. Understood. Well then, Jackie, I'll be back later. Oh, you are? Sarah, please hurry. If we're late, then the Queen will... Yes, I'm sorry. useless. Alfar doesn't like anyone but me. Okay, then. Go away. Man. Poor kid is going through some things, evidently. Which might explain why he was so emo and told us that we were going to die. <laughs> or one of us was going to die. I don't know. This leads to the Demonic Vessels Hall. Well, that sounds like a place we want to go. Immediately. That prophet's spirit is filled with hatred and sorrow. I'm telling you, it's Magus. At the rate he's going, he'll destroy himself eventually, taking even what he loves along with him. Gotta be Magus. Beyond here is the hull of the demonic vessel. Hmm, it's brimming with incredible power. That's Lavos energy for you. Yeah, yeah, no. Don't do that. Have you also come to see the demonic vessel? I knew it. Waves of the great Lavos's power are vibrating out. Ah, my eyes are clouding. Yeah, you know, when your eyes cloud, that's not a good thing, generally. And also, like, we've seen the future, and that's going to be bad news. Lava, we'll go back up there soon. Uh, the whereabouts of the Philosopher of Reason, Gash, who designed the Blackbird and Ocean Floor Palace, are also unknown. To think that the Philosophers who guided Zeal Kingdom would disappear on us. It's said that the Philosopher of Time, Hash, is quietly continuing to research time on a small island somewhere. He's making a time egg or something? However, it's been ages now since anyone has seen him. Have I talked to everyone down here? Yeah, I've talked to you. Let's see, should I come and talk to some of the people around here as well? 
Listen well, the Earth is alive. Over long periods of time, it gradually moves. Plains to mountains, mountains to oceans. After many thousands, tens of thousands of years pass, ways may be found to places where none can now approach, like the Northern Shrine and Sun Temple. Exactly. We know all about it. Wonder what he's doing, old man philosopher of life. Hasn't been around lately. Sheesh, humans. Gran, I want to become the wind. Oh, hey, this is Gran and Leon. Yeah, you'll be able to, someday for sure. Big sister Doreen went to play in Inhasa again. Yeah, it's because she likes dreams. I like the wind better. <laughs> okay. Dalton might be a new teammate? I suppose that's possible. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't heard much about anything, really, so this leads to the Queen's Hall. Should we go into the Queen's Hall? I don't really know where we should go first. Let's go to the Queen's Hall first, because I feel like the demonic vessel where probably Magus is doing stuff with Lavos is... Oh, hey, that's one of those mysterious power doors. Maybe we're eventually going to go back and be able to open some of that stuff? That would be nice. The Queen has descended to the Ocean Floor Temple. At this time, none can enter here. Oh, that pendant? It looks just like Sarah's. I've heard that whenever Sarah prays to the demonic vessel, her pendant emits a mysterious radiance. Oh, I see where this is going. This sealed door will not open from outside unless you have a powerful key to break magic, such as Sarah's pendant. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I see where this is going. That's one of the reasons I came in here first. Hey, move, new. Well, this doesn't look dangerous at all. This is the source of Zeal's power. The demonic vessel draws out and amplifies Lavos's infinite energy. Yeah, I, we, so we've heard. It's just as though it's exchanging secret words with the demonic vessel. If we move the demonic vessel to the ocean floor palace, we can get more powerful energy from Lavos. The final desire of the enlightened ones, never aging nor dying, is no dream. Oh, great queen, our Zeal kingdom is eternal. And you can't sink the, even God can't sink the Titanic. Since the demonic vessel was completed, the queen has become cold, like a different person. Just between you and me, rumor has it that not just earthbound ones, but also enlightened ones are mercilessly eliminated if they oppose the queen. That sounds good. Ever since one of the philosophers, the philosopher of life, opposed the queen's plans, he hasn't been seen. You don't suppose that... I do suppose that... I suppose exactly that... To control the demonic vessel, you need strong enough magical power to be able to regulate the energy it draws out. The three philosophers brought forth this demonic vessel from the red stone passed down in the royal family. The philosopher of life, who was the leader of the project, researched various things concerning Lavos, and then... Yeah, again, this is some Wayland yutani shit, man. You do not mess with powers beyond your ken. Like, this is way beyond your ken. This is way beyond your Ru. This is way beyond, like... This is way beyond your Akuma. This is way beyond all your Street Fighter characters. That being said, let's just go touch our pendant to the demonic power thing, because, you know, sounds about like a safe thing to do. We know it's Lavos power, and, like, let's just, you know, let's just dip our necklace right in there. That should be a good idea. By the power of Grayskull! Hey, let go! Go full power, Chrono! Now then, will an ogre appear, or will a snake appear? I don't know what that means, Frog, but thank you. Who are you? How did you get in here? Queen, these people are the ones I warned you of who will bring about catastrophe. That is absolutely Magus' hair under that, under that cloak thing. What? Foreigners? Do you two mean to oppose me, Zeal, as the philosophers did? Foolish lot. Dalton, seize them. Yes, ma'am, certainly. Gollum. Oh, good. Well, that looks horrifying. Iron Orb reduces HP by half. Holy cow. Um, well, let's just try some things. I don't know what we actually can do that is, uh... I don't suppose I can even heal because I suppose that reduced our max HP? I don't know. Copy Heaven text. Ooh, I don't like that. How much damage did that do? I wasn't paying attention. I should pay more attention. <laughs> Let's see. Um, let's just try a Jump Slash. I don't really know. 
Well, that seemed to do well. Hey, stop that. I don't like it when you do that. It hurts my feel. Oh, hi! Jeez! Hey, frog. Heal. Heal everybody. And, uh... In fact... Yeah. Um... Jeez. Throw crawl at full power. Oh, yeah, that's... Oh, holy... I don't... I am not liking this fight. <laughs> I should have saved. I should have gone out and saved before this so that we don't have to repeat a few things. Ah, man. Need the slurp, guess. Ah! Stop it! Stop killing Frog! Or knocking Frog out, or whatever is happening. Stop with this. Ah, really? Oh man. What the hell do we even do with this thing? I am so uncertain of how we deal with this. Oh. We're gonna die, man. Like... just gonna focus on... I mean, I don't know. Like, this is not going anywhere. I feel like we're just gonna die. This is just happening. It's not even really worth my effort to try to keep us alive, probably. Okay, we've got to figure out how we deal with this thing. Good grief. This may be a losing battle. We may need to figure out something else. Can I just do enough damage to it that we... Well, that did a lot of damage. Copy Heaven Techs again. No, oh, that's gonna be death. Yeah. Well... Um, were we supposed to fail that? <laughs> Relax, I won't kill you right away. I'll let you taste every sorrow, suffering, and terror. May you thoroughly regret opposing my plans. Maniacal laughter. <laughs> Woo! That was bad maniacal laughter. Maybe we were just supposed to fail that. In that case, I kind of feel bad about wasting some items, but oh well. <laughs> Idiots. Sarah, what are you intending to do? I shall assist these people. I think it's pointless, though. Besides, if you let them escape, you'll... It's all right. I... These people might help the philosophers. Are you all right? Now please, hurry and escape from the palace. And then, if you can, please save the Philosopher of Life. The Philosopher of Life was imprisoned on Grief Mountain for opposing the plans. Please, the Philosopher. I won't let you do that. Oh, hey, Magus. How's it going, buddy? I won't let you hinder me any further. I'll have you disappear right here. You mustn't. Stop! Even the cat wants him to stop. Hmm. Very well, I'll spare their lives. In exchange, I will have you assist me. Sarah, now can you tell me how you were all brought to this era? Oh, so you came in through here. Now, Sarah, when I throw them into that, erect a barrier there. No! If you do not do as I say, these people's lives are forfeit. Understood. Why exactly is he being merciful to us right now? What is going on? Sorry. Okay, what's happening here, exactly? That 
Prophet let us off with our lives, but I smell a rat. They're taking Lavos' power. If take, Lavos weakened, right? Come to think of it, the crested door that opened with the pendant. Didn't you say you saw them in some other era? Yeah, we've kind of seen them all over. We've seen those everywhere, and chests too that are sealed with the same power. Guess there's no means but to try going, Chrono. Oh yeah, this was where we were. I forgot about that. through some pointless fights here to get back because that's the way of the game. <coughs> <coughs> oh, pardon me. Sneezing on stream. I suppose I could have muted my mic. Forgive me. <laughs> what about the new? Phoenix? I, uh... Oh, the new in the future. Um, yeah, there was a new in the future. Let's see. Before anything else, I'm going to come in here. I'm going to heal up and save. And let's see, where should we go first? I kind of want to go to... No, I kind of want to go back to 1000 AD because I remember at least one or two things around that were sealed with the mysterious power in here. So we could advance the plot. Oh wait, no, this is this is the wrong area. This is not the area I wanted to be in. Sorry guys, we're just dropping in on you eating your cheesecake. Instead to no, not yet. No. Yes, this is where I want to go first. So we're probably gonna wander around and dither around a little bit looking for different things sealed with the mysterious power before we actually go and advance the plot. Because, you know, we can do that now. We have the power. We have the technology. We can rebuild him. I think we already did that with Wally, though. Who is just Robo, for those of you who have not kept up with the show, we, we named Robo Wally in this playthrough. I specifically remember one thing being in the upper right corner of Guardia Forest. Hey, dude, can you leave us alone? You too. Uh, can we go around all of you? Yes, we can. I don't want to fight these things. There's really no point in it. Um, wait. Was it not in this era that it was over here? Huh. Maybe it was a different era that it was over here. Maybe it was 600 that it was over here? I could have sworn. Oh well, I guess not. Let's not go that way, because I think it'll be harder to dodge those than it will be to dodge this guy. And I don't really want to fight any of these things right now. Okay, then. Now uh, we... Yeah, so... We're going to have to go through the thing that will make us fight some stuff. Yay! Always fun. <laughs> I think there are a couple other places that we could get stuff in that time period, like houses and whatnot, but right now I want to go to the one I'm specifically aware of right off the top of my head. Okay, 
And now we're going to have to fight something here, because we always have to fight something here. It's overkill because we can easily kill these things with one attack, but hey, overkill is what I do. It's flashy. It's... It's fancy. It makes us feel cool, so... Yes, of course it's total waste, but... Oh, did you miss something, Phoenix? Did you not see what I was... Did you not catch something? And don't worry about doing homework. You've got a lot of homework to do, so it is perfectly understandable. Yeah, there's a... Got a speed tab. Well, that's a good thing to get. Nothing else over here in this era, then? Okay, well, that was the one I specifically remembered off the top of my head. I guess now we just kind of wander around and see where we find them. Yeah, I could go to the future right away, but I'd kind of rather, now that we have the mysterious power, go and just look for stuff. Because I'm kind of a completist, so... Everyone, look, look, everyone's healed now. Be, be gentle. Except for him, apparently. Uh, we don't need to rest right now, no. Well, actually, I might as well. I can recover my MP that I wasted a minute ago. Oh, I'm sorry, Phoenix. Yeah, the time limits are not fun when you're doing homework. Homework in and of itself is not really a fun thing, so... I suppose that goes without saying. I don't really think there was anything down here, but I'm checking for good measure to make sure I didn't forget about anything. chef got off to. Our overcoming of Magus' army was thanks to our unity, and above all else, to Chrono and the others. Frog, my you? No, there's no mistaking it. I was thinking about making you knight captain. Forget it. It's not my style. <laughs> what? It's thanks to you guys. I just cooked. I'm thinking about some cooking to celebrate the victory over Magus' army. Something gorgeous. Okay. <laughs> Sir Chrono, my thanks extend into the time of my grandchildren. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure they do. Assuming the Chancellor from the future was one of your, uh... Well, no, was that... I don't even remember what time period that was anymore. Oh, so you're alive. We were saved thanks to you, though a great many were sacrificed. Anyway, we all must work together to rebuild the Kingdom of Guardia. We will help you if something comes up. Frog, thank you for your efforts. Your achievements are exactly what are suited to the name of Knight. Your words are more than one such as I deserves. Frog, so you really were together with Chrono and the others. You have done well. You need not hesitate to stay in this castle. Your words are enough in, them, in themselves. Okay. If Zine and Bridge have been beaten, this castle would probably have been wiped out, too. I don't know that there's anything we need to hear, but there's some, like, it's cool to kind of catch up with some of this stuff. Yeah, nothing really. I, I don't know if there's anything up here that we're even needing to get, but I can't remember, so we're just going to wander around the game map for a while, so progress is not going to be especially made right now. It's a good thing this is an all Chrono Trigger show, because we may not make a ton of progress otherwise. And by the way, for anyone that cares, Shovel Knight Plague of Shadows will return, but we're probably going to finish Chrono Trigger first. Because we've gotten completely sidetracked by this game, I'm loving this game so much, <clears throat> that we kind of have to, uh, oh. we kind of have to just be moving forward in it. Because I just don't want to stop playing. Because it's a good game. Okay, now... Yeah, let's go this way. 
Now, I seem to remember in one of the, like, mayor's houses, I don't remember which time period it was, but there was a mayor's house or a city, like, a chief's house or something like that that had some sealed chests in it that we were told if we could open them, we could have. I'm assuming it's not this one. <laughs> Legendary explorer, my ass, the damn lying numbskull. He's not finding what I asked for him. Asked for him, he says he spent all the advance money. What a horrible phony. Oh yeah, that guy the, that just went straight into the... That went straight into the tavern. Uh, I can't remember if I mentioned to the viewers. Like, we did, we had a Plague Knight, like, at Salt Lake Comic Con. We saw a Plague Knight uh, cosplayer, and I wish I could have got... Oh, hey, there's a shiny here. What the? It's locked. Okay, then. But yeah, uh, I wish I could have gotten a picture, but we were kind of in the press of crowds. They say that Magus bastard survived and hid himself away. We can't let him get away for the sake of the many lost soldiers. But yeah, uh, we were in a press, the press of the crowd, and there, everybody was just pushing around too fast, but we saw a really great Plague Knight cosplayer, and I wish I could have gotten a picture to show to everybody here. But, uh... wondering if I can catch up with that guy who uh, just took the chief's money and then like went straight to the bar Fiona's hut oh hey your husband is alive apparently my husband Marco who went to fight Magus' army as a soldier has returned to me I I relax from now on we'll be together for good Oh, yay it seems that the monsters nesting in the desert cave are weak against water, but beating those monsters with my power... Okay, well, good. Glad that happened. Um, I don't know if we should go into this whirlpool, like, sunken desert. That sounds interesting, but I'm not sure if we should go wander around there right now. That's just an inn. Market. Pub. I think here was where the guy went, and he doesn't seem to be here anymore, but... Here it's some stupid frogman who baked Magus. If someone like that could do it, I should have done it. I mean, seriously. Excuse me, sir. Sir? Would you like to take this outside? It looks like that Tart has been doing his best to behave lately. Could even he have grown up a bit? A again, he's just a kid. You guys were the ones who put all that on him. And after all this time, I thought the legendary hero had appeared from this village. I feel so miserable. Chill, dude. I've got a modest dream of my own. <laughs> I wonder if I could become a good mother for that boy. Wow. A weird monster was in here getting liquored up earlier. It was mumbling to itself, what's happening with Queen Lean? What about the Grand Leon? That was a really creep. <coughs> no, a fine frog man. He'll end up a hero or chancellor? Yeah. Yeah, you better, you better adjust the way you talk about our buddy. Oh, you're still freaking out about Tarda's, like, thing that was not his fault? Okay, then. Yeah, we already heard that dialogue, so... Chief's house? Maybe it was over here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something inside reacted to the pendant and began glowing. Get the contents? You bet. Got a white vest. And a black vest. Black and white vests. Okay, let's see what those do then. Absorbs 50% dark damage or 50% heaven damage. Oh, that's useful. Um, they don't have as high defense as the dino plate. And they are equal to the ruby vest, so... Let's see... Miss Fiona has a beautiful heart that loves nature. I hope her dreams come true. Yeah, we know about that. Anybody saying anything new? Not especially. You know, Tarda, make me his bride. Well, maybe you two better grow up a little first. That might be a good idea. Because you are a child. I'm really curious about the sunken desert. Maybe we should go check it out at least. This seems like a good idea, right? 
totally safe. Got Lapis, that's good to have. Oh hey, it's one of you guys. We fought one of you earlier in the game, I think. With a different name, though. Let's just shock everybody and see if that does anything. Well, it does stuff. It doesn't do a lot. But... It does something, though. I forgot about that. That's the horizontal one, so we need to remember that. That still does a ton of damage. Holy cow. Now we're... Pfft. I wonder if we can just take these things out. these things out and not need to use anything to drop on Chrono. Well, they're they're pretty tough. They're not they're not pushovers, but maybe we can kill them and save ourselves an item. Yeah, there we go. Chrono will probably only have like one hit point when he gets up, but yeah, that's pretty typical for this kind of thing. Let's see what is... We're at max on everybody else, so we'll just... There we go. Wow, this is apparently a dangerous place. slashed it. Oh well. Everybody hit it. <laughs> there we go. We're getting a lot of experience points in here, so... Of course. Oh geez, two of you. I don't like that. Falcon Slash on just one of them because and the Jump Slash focus on the same one. These things seem to have quite a lot of defense. Attack, rock Throw. I haven't even tried the Rock Throw. Done with your practice exam. Awesome, Phoenix. I'm proud of you. You're rocking it. Let's see. Frog, probably. Let's just use the slurp kiss and heal everybody up. Full slash. Okay. 
doesn't do as much as I might have expected it to, but okay. We quit. Quit it. There's much to commentate about when it comes to combat, so sorry if I'm a little quieter while we're dealing with this whole thing. Because combat is not the most exciting thing here, when it's just kind of dealing with stuff. Chrono learned something. Okay, I better go look what, at what that was. Life. Ooh, revive and restore some HP. So that is like an Athena drop tech, basically. Awesome. Good to have. Got high ether. Also good to have. We should actually uh, come heal, heal up our people. Probably use some ether on Frog, and Ayla, and Chrono. Everybody, I guess. Okay, yes, we got high ether. We know about that. More fighting. Oh, geez. Three of you? Okay, well, at least two of you are going to probably stay lined up so I can get you with the Falcon Slash. I think we can handle these. It's just going to be a little rough. They do some pretty serious damage. Let's actually wait on a Falcon Slash so that we can deal damage to both of these. Ugh. Ugh, jeez. second thought I'm going to need to use another slurp kiss it looks like as soon as they're charged up because everybody's real low on health let's use lightning too just because it hits everybody and gives us something to do for the turn while we're... It doesn't do a lot, though. That's my concern. Oh, stop it. because three of them is a lot to deal with all at once. At least we're we're thinning the herd a little. That will mean that they can do less damage to us. Overall, anyway. I'm gonna say another slurp kiss is in order after that. Cross 
slash this one. Oh, come on. Is that actually going to kill Chrono? That might kill Chrono, which will throw off our attack. No, it didn't, but almost. Slip kiss as soon as we have it. type moves against these things because uh, I do seem to recall that maybe that was what Marco was talking about. Hey Frog, try water on that thing. Just out of curiosity. Uh, it does quite a bit. No, water hardens sand, defense power is down. Okay, so that's that's what we need to do, is hit them with water and then use other attacks. Frog learns water too, which is I think a water all attack, like lightning too is an all, which is good. fighting, I'm sure. Yep. Three again. Here, let's... Water two, yes. And then... Falcon slash these two as soon as he's done that. Nice, there we go. That's more like it. That's how we fight these things, basically. We just have to weaken them up first, soften them a little, and then let's just use them to break... Oh, jeez. Well, that's Chrono dead. But hopefully we'll kill this thing quickly. I suppose I actually should use a proper attack. so many ethers, but we're... If I go... If I... Elixir. What is Elixir? Exactly. Elixir recovers all HP and MP for a single. Okay, that's a good thing to have. Let's see. Should we use the speed tab on anybody we have with us? I don't remember our stats. Let's put it on Frog. fighting. At least it's these guys this time. I'm still going to use water too. And I don't know if it did anything especially, but let's hit them all with a falcon slash. What are they... I forget what the question mark means, but... Oh, 
I think it means that we can't use our uh, I think it means we can't use our tech attacks, so. Oh, I couldn't get him out from under the ground? Okay. Fine then. again. survive that so we can okay let's see do we need to top anything up desperately I think we do need to at least use our last regular ether on frog because he's real low and then everybody Ayla does need some healing can you kiss yourself Ayla you can <laughs> Another fight over here, I'm gonna guess. Yep, three more of these guys. Okay, at least we know we can weaken these guys pretty significantly with water too. And then Falcon slash a couple of them. And kill them. Nice. take this out with regular attacks if we just focus. Yeah, there we go. Ayla learns seduction. Ooh, really? What does seduction do? Wow, an enemy and get an item. Okay. Hey, open the... Open the chest. Got Aeon suit. Ooh. Let's compare. Whoa! Holy cow! That's a big upgrade. I think I kind of want to give that to Chrono. I don't know if we want to continue in here right now, but. Potion. Oh, that. What the? Oh, hello. What is that? Other than incredibly horrifying. That made forest desert. But for a bastard that moves around underground to be the opponent, this guy's a pain. Yeah, maybe we should not deal with this right now. Maybe now is not the time. Maybe. Maybe we should go. Partially just because right now I really want to save, and, uh, there, now, let's see, there was a market around here somewhere, I want to see if we have anything that, anything that sells, uh, ethers, it would be nice. I don't know 
if you sell ethers here. Even crappy little regular ethers? No. I'm gonna buy a couple more Athena drops to get myself back up to... Well, okay. That was an interesting detour. Maybe we'll be prepared to go back at another time? I'm not sure if we are quite yet. Um, I don't know. Maybe we... Maybe we should, though. This market's not going to sell it, because this is a much earlier game market, isn't it? Yeah. A really early game. Well, I'd like to go back there and do some stuff, but I am not sure we're prepared to deal yet. Yes, yes, yes. Especially with Frog being so low on MP and me having very limited ethers that I'm trying to avoid spending. Well, I got an ether there. But, uh... I should at least go, like, use a shelter or something at a save point before I go back, if I do. Phoenix, do you have thoughts, or are you too focused on homework to have really caught what was happening there, or just out of curiosity? And I'm going to save again now that we're healed up. And, uh, let's see. I'd also kind of like to, as we're doing other stuff, take out some of our different uh, squad members. Let's bring Marley with for a while uh, instead of Ayla. Ayla's really good and everything, but I want to... I want to get some of our abilities with other, our other characters, too, so... Oh, don't worry about it, Phoenix Wings. And let's see. I wanted to go... Um, let's go wander around 1000 AD and see what we find, since we have some different... Uh, different places that we've spotted sealed things that we should go check out. Maybe we'll stumble across some of them again, because I don't remember where any of them were at all. So we'll just go wander around buildings and see. <laughs> this will probably not be the most exciting episode ever of Chrono Trigger, because there's going to be a lot of randomness, but what did you say? Yeah, I, I did know that, and I do know why it's gone now. Oh, that's Chrono's house. Is there anything in Chrono's house? Other than Chrono's mom, presumably. His name is Gina. Chrono, Chrono, what a relief. I heard you were going to be executed. Oh, yeah. We didn't drop in and tell our mom after that. Yeah, don't make me worry like that. Yeah, sorry. We probably should have dropped in and said that we can rest here. Well, that's... We don't need to right now, but that's good to know. Do you still have anything else to say, or are you just going to say... Oh, my Chrono, I didn't know you knew any other girls besides Luca. What's your name? It's nice to meet you. I'm Marley. Huh? Marley? Haven't I met you somewhere? That's funny. I wonder if it's my imagination. <laughs> also, it's like, yeah, I didn't know you knew any other girls other than Luca. It's like, Daniel! All your friend is here! <laughs> yeah, nothing interesting to say here. That market is going to have nothing useful for us. No, we've heard about it before. And there's that fake save point again that tricked us early in the game. Okay, so nothing really interesting in here. Actually, this is a chest that we never opened with a potion! Yay! We'll probably never actually use that potion. Anything in Luca's house? I don't think so, but... It came at a good time. One Taban helm. Taban's great invention. The perfect armor for Luca. Use it well. Yes, we will. I don't know that we'll ever actually use the armor he's crafting for Luca, because I think we're probably, especially by this point in the game, have 
better equipment for her, but it is possible that that's better than for certain purposes. Who knows? Probably people who are more acquainted with this game than I am. Okay, let's see. Is there anything over here in this time period? I don't think so. Nothing? Okay. Um, that market's too old to really probably have anything useful for us. 400 years ago, a woman called Fiona died trying to turn the rough land to the north into forest. It's a sad story. I don't know about that. Some monsters live with and get on well with humans. That piano play, for example. player, for example. Yeah, we know about that. You know what? Why not? I will. I'll buy your hot jerky. We've got lots of money. A flashy one. Yeah. Nothing real useful in there. Residence, let's go check it out, sure. Um, no. I don't think you're gonna have anything useful to say to us. The mayor's manor. Yeah, you're that jerk mayor that we were. No. How about no? We did that earlier. And we've got a lot more money now. Anything changed in here yet? Apparently not. Everyone is still depressing and sad here. I think for this time period and area, that's it. We can go check out the Medina Village side of this time period. Yeah, get into Lean Square! Chrono! Go do the thing. time travel today. We're just going to be kind of wandering around a bunch. Let's see. The other one was here in Medina Village. Yeah. Now, the monsters still are not going to be friendly to us, I would imagine. Other than these guys. some point. I don't remember what was here. Or didn't we? Maybe we didn't, because this would have been opened mid-ether. That's good to have. Light from the pendant? Interesting. What's up, dude? The seal was released. I shall present you the treasure the Philosopher of Reason made. On the right, a weapon that brings forth power. On the left, armor that protects life. You should carefully consider which you need before taking it. Thirteen thousand years of time was long. Gash, now to your side. Well, hey. I think we stumbled onto some plot stuff. Um, hmm. Weapon or armor? 
I feel more like armor. Probably. Safe helm. Cuts physical damage by a third. Ooh. I like it. I guess we're making Chrono like super tank, because we've got the Aeon suit on him and the safe helm now. But we can always switch it out with other items if we need to later with somebody else. Well, that's cool. <laughs> that was unexpected. Let's see, I assume Medina Square, they're still just like creepily dancing around, praying to Magus, maybe? Um? No, to Vinegar. Weird. I guess Magus did disappear then. Yes, sir, Master Vinegar. Okay. <laughs> great Vinegar, Great Vinegar, our Savior, Great Vinegar, our Great Vinegar, Great Vinegar, however sunny and lonely the day. Yeah, yeah, we, we get the idea. Well, that's very silly. But hey. Did Bosch have anything around here that he. Whoa, what happened there? Did you buy something before you go? I'll look at what you have. I can't remember what you have, but... Um, it would be nice if anybody had some better ethers to sell me. I'd like to have those. I don't think there's anything else to do in Bosch's hut. Um, is there anything in Hecaron's cave that we could not access? I really do not recall. I don't think so. I don't really want to wander through the whole thing again looking, but maybe? I cannot remember what we found where. I'm fairly certain. Well, there was something here, so we're not wasting our time completely. One wall ring. Hmm? There's something else further in. Whoa! A speed ring. Excellent. Speed ring and a wall ring. I assume those are like. Yeah, magic defense plus 10 or speed plus 3. Which it looks like if we put the speed ring on Chrono, it would max out his speed. I'm assuming that's what those stars mean. Well, we've got a power glove on him right now, and I kind of want to leave that on him. Hero badge. What does the hero badge do again? I forget. Well, I, I guess I have to go to items to look at it then, because it's equipped. And I feel like there was somebody that traded something for hot jerky somewhere, and I don't remember what it was. Or does it not even show us unless we unequip it? Apparently not. Okay. Oh, Black Rock is not... Okay, Black Rock invokes Triple Tech. Dark Eternal. Hmm. Interesting. So when we got that black rock earlier, that was not something we go charge, like I was thinking, like the darkness stone. I was off base on that. Uh, was there anything in the other path down here? I forget. No. Okay, well, I'm glad we came in here, at least. We've got some more items. Whether we actually use them or not, we have them. And my tendency towards completionism is sated for the moment. <laughs> oh, it looks like we lost our other viewer that we had for a while. Bye, whoever you were. They did hang out for quite a while, though. They were in here for like a 
over an hour, so... But the fact that we're kind of dithering today probably affected their interest. Like, we're just kind of wandering around. Let's see... I don't want to go to the Promethe Dome yet. Did we ever see anything in the Mystery Mountains? I can't remember. Actually, real quick, let me go see. I am just checking out some locations of things so that I kind of don't dither as much because we don't really need to. We can. So, let's go back to 600 AD. Because I see on this list that there are some other things that I can get, apparently. In this time period. And I figure when it's just kind of holding us up a little like this, I might as well uh, look things up and speed things up. I learned a dual tech. Uh, Marley, probably. Was it Cure? Or did she already have Cure? Ice Water, I bet it was. Yeah, Ice Water. Good to know. So apparently, uh, there is something here somewhere that I missed, possibly? Yeah, there it is. Yeah, I can open it. Yes, I will remove the contents. A blue vest. What does the blue vest do? We're getting all colors of vests, evidently. Absorbs 50% water damage. Okay, so they're like the elemental vests, basically. Oh, why am I trying to go down there? Like, that's a place I can go. And apparently there is something in Guardia Castle that we missed in this time period, so I should go wander around and look again. Because apparently I missed it before when we were looking. But where, precisely, is the question. And perhaps I need to look a little more carefully than I have been. Not here. jump back over to Twitch momentarily to make sure that no one has said anything in chat that I missed. And, you know. Anything in here? Anything at all? No? Okay. So I felt like I looked around here pretty closely, but evidently there is a thing in Guardia Castle in this time period that I did not find. So let's look a little more carefully, I guess. Aha! Passed right by this. Got a red vest. That will be the fire elemental thing. Let's see, what is that? Is this a location that is? Okay, 
we can't even go to that location to get that one yet. And we also cannot get there, or can we? Okay, I think we can get there, so... And the names on the wiki, because they are the names from the original Woolsey translation, are different, so sometimes I have to look at the articles and kind of read for a moment to see if it's actually a place I can access at this point in the game. But yes, we can get to that, because it is somewhere, I believe, in here. In Demon Cavern, which apparently in the Woolsey translation was simply referred to as Magic Cave. Yeah, there was one here. Magic Ring. Let's see, what does the Magic Ring do? I assume it is... Yeah, magic plus six, that's cool. And... Let me see. Alright, and then there are a few in the present time period that we will go to collect. said much about it while we've been playing, but man, the music in this game is good. And I mean, that's not really surprising, because it's a Square game from the 90s, and Square games, even the lesser ones, or especially from this time period on through the early 2000s, had really great music. Like, especially if Nobuo, Nobuo Ebuematsu was the composer. I'm not sure who was the composer on Chrono Trigger, or composers, I suppose. Um, because often it was not just one. Yeah, Phoenix, uh, you are welcome to slack for a bit, but just make sure you actually do get the dinner done. That would be a good thing. And I'm glad you enjoy the music. I've been really enjoying it, too. yet. Yes. Okay. So we got the wall ring and speed ring from Hecarim Cave in the present. Apparently there is something in Guardia Forest in this time period, as well as Guardia Castle in this time period. And, uh, Let's see, the weapon we could have gotten was, like, in the forest ruins would have been Chrono's 14th level weapon. Looks like it's a pretty good weapon, but I personally think that the, the uh, helmet that we got is probably what I wanted to go for. I'm a little more defensive than offensive in this playthrough, I think, anyway. So, let's see. Actually, apparent. well, let's go first, since we're right here. Now, I'm not sure where our item is in the forest. Because presumably it is not in the upper corner. But I have so far not seen it. Hmm. 
because it's blocked up up here in this time period. Let me see. Actually, if opening things in the past uh, removes them from the present, that's entirely possible. Princess Marlidia. We've been worried, Princess. I had the chance to understand your feelings well. The king is a man who places his kingdom all above, above all else. Yes, even when your mother, Queen Ari Arish, pa passed away. Mother? No, no, it's nothing. Tell me. It is difficult to say this, but it was when Queen Arisha's condition, which had been sickly to begin with, took a sudden turn. The Queen said that she wished to see the King one last time, but the King... Even if you were busy attending to the country, not coming to her. As a young girl, you watched over her, not knowing about death. Arish passed away. Dear me, that makes it sound almost like the King killed her. Father did that to Mother? Oh dear, what have I done? Don't worry yourself over it. Now, you've gone to all the trouble to come back. Please do pay the King a visit. Well, apparently we've got some story going on. But yeah, I wonder if we open uh, things in the past, we don't get them in the present. That is entirely possible. Because I would bet that uh, that is a thing. Here, with the high ether, which is good to have. Ever since Queen Arish passed away, the king has valued only Princess Marladia. Hey, Marladia. Marladia? I'm not sure. We've got the elixir. So it's entirely possible that uh, it we do still get stuff in the present. I just have to look around and. Before we talk to the king, I'm going to do that, because I suspect that's going to be... Thing one is insisting you stop homework. Oops. Well, no. Can't do it, kid. Sorry. Super ether. Wow. It's kind of important. I'm responsible for the princess's discipline. The current incident is due to my inadequacy. Hey, I'm in charge of the princess's athletics. I'm responsible for the princess's education. Got mega elixir. Awesome. Well, let me tell you something. We're responsible for the princess's fun and adventure. So, there. area yet. I hear the head chef's ancestor contributed to the war against Magus' army with cooking. That he did. We're preparing the Millennial Festival celebration party. Oh, I'm sorry. My wife does everything in this kitchen. Bitching in the kitchen. Something like that. Her cooking skills are top-notch, but she's got a rough disposition. I hear it runs in the family. Don't come in the kitchen without asking. <laughs> yeah. Yes, super ether. It's locked. It's locked. Locked. Okay, fine. What's wrong? Want to be put on trial again? No, I'm good. But thanks. It's cool. Yeah, I wonder if we open stuff in the past if it disappears in the present, and I wonder then if I should have gotten stuff in the present or the, the past. Oh well. Maybe we could have gotten better equipment in the present, I have no idea. Soldiers that were in the prison all entered the castle on the Chancellor's orders. It was probably the Chancellor who stirred up the King at the trial, too. I'm the lawyer Pierre. The king has been thoroughly dejected ever since Princess Marladia left the castle. Listening to my story, he has concluded that it was not a kidnapping. It took time, but I finally carried out my mission. Even so, the Chancellor is acting odd. We're talking things over regarding this matter. 
prison soldiers were really disturbing. Sometimes they'd stare at us with cold eyes as though they weren't human. Yeah, that... I was trying to talk to this one. The Chancellor lost it right around the time he ordered that dragon tank to be built. Yeah, about that whole thing. Let's see... Did we... Check this side already? I think we did, yeah. No, we didn't, but... Oh well. Yeah, I'm thinking if we get stuff in the past, then we don't get it in the present, so... Hopefully we didn't, like, waste anything. <laughs> It looks like rather than vests, we could have gotten some uh, armor in some of the sealed chests, but uh, but maybe that's not the case. I'm not sure. Lydia, what did you come back for? You shouldn't have any business with me. What's with that look? You rushed out of the castle on your own. Come to think of it, bringing such a bizarre group into the castle. Are you trying to start a circus or something? How can you say that to my friends? People like that as friends. I can never justify that to the guard of your royal family ancestry. More precious than me? It's more precious than me or mother to you. This kingdom. What? You're the one who killed Mother. Get out. Never show yourself in front of me again. I wouldn't come even if you hadn't said so. I consider us neither parent nor child anymore. Do as you please. Well, that went well. Hi, Thing 2. <laughs> oh, how terrible. Yeah, why do I feel like the Chancellor is orchestrating this still? You shouldn't have any business with me now. What's that? Father, your favorite. You're giving me this? Let's see. Hark! What is wrong? Oh, giving me something so extremely spicy when you know I have high blood pressure. Huh? Isn't that your favorite? This time I will not tolerate this. Now I know quite well how much you hate me. That's not it, Father. Go, I don't care where. Never show yourself again. Father! Wow, what happened there, exactly? Um, what happened there? <laughs> I am so confused. just like give the king the spiced jerky because if so I think we're supposed to use or hot jerky like it's spiced jerky in another translation um, because I think we're supposed to use that somewhere else actually but uh... maybe we can get more I don't remember find more I'm not sure <laughs> but uh yeah I think anything else we might be able to get we cannot actually get yet so 
let's be on our way then. Mm, let's not go that way, because I don't really want to try to walk around them. And actually, I think before we move on any further, we are going to take a short break. So thank you for watching. We will be right back in just a few minutes.
we are back and over part of the break I got us to the future so that we are a little closer along our way to where we need to be. I'll let you use the jet bike there. Don't screech chicken out. Screech, baby. I remember you. We actually have to play the minigame again. Yes, we do. <laughs> I'm not really sure what the point of it is. Since last time, I don't think it really had much of a point either, but... Do we not make it if we... yeah. Yeah, we don't make it unless we win, so okay. So basically I think we just need to mostly save our nitro boosts until right at the end there. And Stone first, since we're here. Let's see, wasn't the door fairly nearby in here? Was it downstairs? I could have sworn. I don't remember. <laughs> Maybe it was further in. I guess we're fighting, sure. <laughs> These things should be absolutely no problem to us now. They should be totally trivial by this point in the game. Saw something sparkling here in the power tab. Elixir, hit ring, and gold loop. So, like, the light robe is presumably for some of the, for the female characters. Well, it's better than Dino Plate and gives her higher magic defense, so maybe I'll give her that for the moment. Yeah. And let's see. Gold loop, max HP plus 50%. That's nice. Hit plus 10. That'd be good for her. Hmm. Let's see. What did the ribbon do for her again? I forget. It was hit plus 2. So yeah, hit, the hit ring's just a straight upgrade to that. Now, let's 
Let's give her a Dino Helm. Still the Saint Bow. Power Glove is just power plus two, so if we have anything that upgrades that. Or we could uh, continue tank the tankening and just give him the gold loop. I think I want to do that just for the sheer goofiness of it. Chrono's going to be like borderline indestructible. And yes, I realize it doesn't fill his health up to as much as he can hold. But I'm not going to worry about that too hard right now because we've still got plenty of health. That's all that was in here. I don't think there was another door. I think that was the only one. I see they have planted their seed. It's growing up there. And let's see. I need to remember wh what the layout of these could be. Because... Uh, I think the one that is like plot important we have to go through the sewers to get to so yeah, fine so I want to get back to the other domes because I think that they had doors in them as well <laughs> can't even touch chrono ba -na -na -na. Uh, can't touch this. Wish there was a shortcut back to the other dome so we didn't have to go through here and fight all this garbage, but hey. by lightning or yeah I'll spend some MP just to speed this up uh, come on we'll probably have to fight this stuff again on the way back too I would expect so I'm gonna go ahead and use an 
ether or two on Chrono, just to keep them topped up. It's not a huge deal, but as long as we're going to be fighting stuff anyway. Stop stealing my potions. Not that I'm going to use them anyway. Very carefully, just walk between new creatures. spending MP on anything in here when I can just hit it all. Yeah, Chrono has become like a defensive beast because of what we've been doing to him. Okay, so let's go into Bango Dome. Oh hey, we have another gate here. I didn't remember that but that will be useful. We won't have to go back through. We got Sexy Bra. Oh, really? <laughs> and exactly what does that do for us? I presume it's only for the female characters. And... Or is it? I don't even know. It's... Ayla, maybe? Only? No? What is it then? <laughs> what do we do with it? And where did it go? Sexy bra. So it is... Oh, seduction power-up. So I assume it only is for Ayla and it's, it's an accessory. So it makes Ayla's seduction thing work more commonly, probably. What does she have right now? She has a power scar, which... Uh, I mean, we can put it on her and see... What does the power scar give her exactly? I forget. Power plus four. I mean, yeah, we'll leave it on her and use it later, possibly. Got high ether. Got wallet. What's in the wallet? Turns experience into gold. Oh, that's cool. Um, Marley may be able to use it too, but Ayla can definitely use it for her seduction. Like, Marley might not be able to use it, though, at all. Except, like, now it's equipped. But I think it may only be for Ayla. Let's just check. Like, I'll just put the headband on her for a second while we go check. Yeah, it's only for Ayla's seduction. So, although Provoke is similar, it's only for Ayla. Because, uh, let's see, Ayla has the seduction, yeah, wow an enemy, get an item. Yeah, so. We don't want to go in there just yet because we've got another dome to go check out. And actually, we don't need to go, well, yeah, let's go. through the gate because I bet that will get us more quickly to where we need to go. We got high ether, got gold stud, and found a magic tab. So the gold stud presumably is down here, there it is. MP use cut by 75%. Wow, that's really good. Yeah, we haven't used Seduction yet from Ayla, so... We got it just after we swapped her out from Marley. Let's see, that gold stud would be really useful for someone, but who should I put it on? hit ring on Marley right now. Frog has the hero badge and I forget what it does. Let's go check again so I can... Ups the Grand Leon's hit critical hit rate. So we want that on Frog probably just always. 
Um, we have the sight scope on you. Oh, that's so we can see enemies' HP. Wally has the protector, which I forget. Stamina plus two. Eh. He doesn't have magic, though. Although, he does use MP, so... Huh. Well, let's... Let's just put the... Protector or something on him. Well, let's put the Protector back on him. We haven't used him in a while anyway. And we'll wait and see with the gold stud if we want to use it for somebody else. Let's just use the inner box to refill health and MP as long as we're here. And yes, we're still hungry because the future is a depressing place. Now, I think if we go through the gate here, we can then come back and save ourselves some time and effort in getting to the actual plot important one. <laughs> Oh, and that gives us a new portal, too. That's useful. So now we have that. And now we can go through the sewers to the place we need to go. I wonder if we ever have to go back to the factory for anything. Well, I guess we still have to do this mini-game again in order to cross. if you can even call it a minigame. This is like a glorified loading screen that you can lose if you're careless. <laughs> Johnny. Now let's see, I don't exactly remember the route we took through here to get where we needed to go, but I feel like we left our way open. I just don't remember exactly where. Is it here? Yeah. So that's easy. Death Peak, we probably don't want to go hang out at right now. Actually, real quick, I'm, there's probably a save point nearby, but I'm going to save anyway on the map so that we don't lose progress. Hey, new. The final program carried out by me was the burial of the wise one himself. Like, I can't remember. I gave this guy, like, an insane voice. Like, no, I can eternally pass through the same time as the wise one. Huh? It feels as though there was one more thing that I must do. Seats. I forgot. <laughs> yeah, that was the voice I gave him. I'm pretty sure. Well, whatever happened to the old guy? He's not around, it looks like. Huh? To those who opened the door, I am the philosopher of reason, Gash. Gash of the Magic Kingdom, Zeal. I was flung to this age at the time of Zeal's great disaster. To my surprise, Lavos's appearance was not just in my era. It fell from the sky in a distant ancient era, appeared in Zeal, lay dormant deep underground, and continued to grow while sucking up this Earth's energy. 
The time is Kingdom Year 600. Magus summons it and it briefly appears. Kingdom Year 1999. It at last makes the surface its territory too. And then, just as if laying eggs, it gives birth to its own offshoots, one after another, from the place I named Death Peak. Lavos is an enormous parasite that nests in the planet itself. I have continued the observation and study of Lavos here, but I'm already at my limits. Maintaining a normal mind in an era like this may be impossible. I have decided to leave behind this record before my spirit accepts death, together with the final invention of my life. I continued researching so as to somehow return to my own era. However, by the time that research was complete, I was feeling my own lifespan. That is why I entrust it to those who find this place. If you can come and go through time, if crossing time, humans can become one for the sake of this planet itself, perhaps they can do something about Lavos. The probability is equivalent to zero. However, as long as it's not zero, I'll take the chance. I'll wager everything of this earth on those who open this door. Now the last door. Open it, and then take it. My last invention. The wings that cross time. Ooh, that's cool. Hello. Do we get a time ship? Aw, oh, baby, we get a time ship! This is the wings that cross time. This is awesome, but I wonder which side's the front. Yeah, that's a pretty good question. Which side is the front? And how do we do a thing with it? Exactly. Because I am not really figuring it out. I am moving around pressing buttons on it. And it is not doing a thing. Do the thing. Um. Huh. So, what do we do now, precisely? Oh, hey. <laughs> I was going to say we probably need to go talk to that guy. You seem surprised. It's me. That's right. Gash. I copied my memory into this thing. What do you think? There's something I must explain to you. Namely, how to transcend time. Activate the time gauge with the Y button. Choose an arrow with L and R. Ah, that's right. Before leaving, give this time machine... Why not try giving the time machine a name? Hmm... I don't really like the silver very much, but... Hmm. I hereby christen this time ship... The Phoenix. Go on, get in, get in. <laughs> yeah, let's operate it. Oh, this is interesting. So we can go anywhere in it, basically. sure where we need to go right now. Hmm. Well, let's take it first to the Dark Ages, because that's where we can't get to through the portals that Magus sealed off. Ooh, what's going on? Awesome! This is the Phoenix's power? <laughs> Glad you think so, Phoenix Wings. <laughs> okay, first off, let's save this now. Oh, uh, wasn't there a thing in here that we... Oh no, I don't remember. Let's see. 
this is Algadi, village of the Earthbound Ones. Oh, we never came here before. I think I missed the door when we came last time. We Earthbound Ones were banished from Zeal, the kingdom in the heavens, because we don't have magical powers. Many of the Earthbound Ones who lived here were hauled off for construction on the Ocean Floor Temple and never again returned. Buy something? Sure, what do you have to sell? Whoa. good sword compared to what we have. A big improvement on Marley's weapon. A big improvement. Oh man, we're gonna... This is all very expensive. But we've got a lot of good stuff here. Let's see. What can we sell? got a bunch of stuff that we could sell. Whoa, Mega Elixir. Recovers all HP and MP all. Sells for a ton. But I kind of think we're going to want that. <laughs> See, nobody wants the beret. There's actually a better item than the Grand Leon for Frog. A better weapon? Interesting. Let's see, we already have a light robe on Marley. We already have some different things. So, huh. Okay, well. We can't afford that for quite a while. Let's come and equip the Demon Slayer and the Comet Arrow, and then we can sell those, the Soy Edge and the Saint Bow. Or can we sell the Soy Edge? And maybe we can't. Maybe it's important. Yeah. We don't seem to be able to sell it, but, uh, let's see, I didn't notice how much we had. Uh, yeah, I'm assuming it is considered, like, a key item or something, then, if it's... Well... intends to set up the demonic vessel in the ocean floor temple and extract yet more energy from Lavos, but is that really okay? I'm afraid that the philosopher of life who opposed it as dangerous was imprisoned on Grief Mountain. There's nothing we can do anymore. I heard from the philosophers that Jaki hides an incredible magical power that surpasses even Sarah. However, he hates that power, which drives the queen mad and torments Sarah, and along with his heart, he has shut that power away. Okay. I wonder when Sarah's going to come play with us again. Only the three philosophers and Sarah see fit to treat us as equals. Yeah, this zeal's a little messed up, guys. The Mud Eater Nest's real dangerous. You'd better not go. Stay? Uh, no, I don't need to stay in the inn. Once both the Enlightened Ones and the Earthbound Ones were one people that lived together. This hole continues into the Mud Eater Nest. The Mud Eater Nest should lead to where the chain that ties Grief Mountain to the Earth is. Philosopher of Life was imprisoned on Grief Mountain because he opposed the Queen's plans. Well, that's probably where we're going to want to go. But, uh, I don't want to go there quite yet. I think there is a little more wandering to be done first. Let's 
see. I want to go back up to Zeal and see. Oh, the power is sealed, so we can't. So never mind. In that case. I guess our decision is made. So that was just a little bit of waste of airtime. Don't mind me. Got a power tab. We should probably use some of these tabs. tabs. Let's uh, put them on frog, maybe? Yeah, I want to put both of them on frog, I think. Magic tab on chrono, I think. Let's see how we're all doing here. are you? Monsters, obviously. Oh, they're mud eaters. Okay. I don't know what type they're going to be, and so let's just see. I'm just going to cross slash one with frog and chrono. Attack power up. Try ice on it. Ice works okay. Attack power up again. Yeah. Good luck getting through Chrono's defenses, man. Chrono is tanky. Chrono has been tanking. Let's try sword strike now. Yeah, sword stream? Let's try it. That did pretty well. Just try a regular attack from her. It's not going to do much, but hey. Let's do another sword stream. That seemed to work well. Starting to chip away at Chrono a tiny, a tiny, tiny bit. Ice water we haven't tried. That's, uh, yeah, Marley and Frog's first dual tech that they have together. Cool. Frog's arm looks very disproportionate whenever he does that pose. Do it again. I should sit up a little so I'm more in frame. I keep slouching slightly out of the frame of my webcam. Marley learns haste. Okay, let's see. What does haste do? Cut ally's wait time by half. Oh wait, didn't she learn that before or did somebody else learn it? Um, I feel like somebody else has haste. Was it... No, maybe it's just Marley learned it once before and we lost progress. Oh, these look different. I won't let you pass through here! Let's 
try... They, they look like they're fire and ice themed, so let's try using Sword Stream on this one that is apparently fire-ish looking. Maybe? I don't know. It's worth a shot. No? Ah! Let's throw haste on frog and... Focus on him. It does much more damage to Frog than it does to Frog. Quit it! Let's try Ice Water since it's a multi hit. But everybody. Ooh. Put a heal frog up. Well, that certainly worked well on the fire-ish one. Frog here. That's much better than an Athena drop. <laughs> hey, stop that. Quit with that noise. I don't like that. Ice water. It does nothing to the, uh, the ice one, but the fire one, it certainly seems to damage significantly. Chrono, because he can take it.
by lightning and that we can see what it does. It does pretty good damage. Frog needs healing, Chrono needs to be woken up. Well, Chrono's up. <laughs> I'm proud of you too, Phoenix. I'm sure that your dinner is going to be awesome. a slow fight. I could probably do it faster, but... What did you end up deciding to make, Phoenix? Out of curiosity. There we go, that's one down. Sandwiches sound really good. Let's see, I'm gonna throw a mid potion on Chrono. So it seems like magic is what hurts this imp more than anything else. But not by much, and it keeps healing itself. with the healing. Stop with the healing. Ugh. There we go. That's what we need to be doing, I think. dropping spire on that one. Maybe we'll just scare off this annoying mud imp by the end of it, after we do enough damage to his buddy. I 
should have put an ether on the chrono because we need that now. Sounds delicious, Phoenix. tedious now, Mud M. You've got to quit. Now I should heal Frog, too. If Marley was awake, I'd have her do it, but... Now, now I'm going to have to resurrect him, because... that. to deal with you. Did this fire work on you too, or is it... It does. Decently, at least. Stop with the healing! Provoke him, Marley. See if that does a thing. Oh, how do I deal with this? Thing 2 just roared at, wind, at me with a giraffe. Well, that makes perfect sense. Giraffes roar, right? <laughs> Let's try Cross Slash now? I don't know. Oh yeah, there we go. No, you, you can't stop this by healing endlessly. You can annoy me, but you cannot stop it. tedious fight for very little reason. Aha! After this fight, I didn't think about that. There we go. 
now. Basic ether. And then we have high ether recovers 60. Super ether which recovers all. And we have a few mid ethers, so one for everybody. Is that going to be Wally armor, maybe, or helmet? No, platinum helm. It's a helm. Okay, so we have the safe helm on Chrono. Let's pop the platinum helm on Marley, since she has the lowest defense in our current party. back over and go the top left. And fight more of these things. Stop that. Quit it. regular attacks on these guys, they're not enough, enough of a problem to really slow us down too much. Marley leveled up. Let's see which way do we go? Oh, well, I didn't realize this was not just a rock, but in fact a rock monster. Can't use text or items. Oh good. Well, fine. Just hit it. Nope. Missed. There we go. Hey, Chrono, care to hit the thing? Also, Frog? Everybody hit the thing. Because this is going to be a tedious fight if we're just sitting here slashing the thing. There we go. 1,000 experience points, a mid ether, good. Actually, if they give you that many experience points and tech points, those might be worth fighting. No, I didn't even see you there, gargoyles. Again, probably just hit them. Yeah, ain't no thing. Chrono leveled up. Oh, hey, this is a save point. Okay. Grief Mountain. Uh, I'm gonna kind of get over to have the course. More gargoyles. Hey, gargoyles. We're just gonna hit you with swords and stuff. What's in the box? Barrier. Um, let's see, that was a use item, wasn't it? Yeah, it cuts magic damage by one third. Let's 
So if we're fighting anything really annoying then we'll, that uses magic damage, that'll be a good way to ease up on it a little. And of course... Hey guys! That's also very good. Maybe we should go back and go over that way. We probably always should have first. I thought it was the way forward, though. Sure. I was just hoping I could hit more than one of them with that, but... so we can be completists, because that's how we do. Sorry, viewers, if anyone is actually around to be watching at the moment. Even Phoenix may be too busy. In which case, it's fine. It's just... No, of course. HP to 1, that's actually a bad thing. We should take care of that real quickly. I didn't realize they could do that. That's not good, Phoenix Wings. Got a shield. And a platinum five would be, which I believe is Wally, actually. I believe it's only Wally that can use those. Or is it? Let me actually. No. I don't know if any of the female characters... No, it's anybody. Okay, so... Wally, we will leave you with... Dino Plate, and, uh... Let's see... Dark Nail did what again? I forget. It was... Magic Defense plus 5. 
versus a big jumping regular old stamina slash defense. the light world magic defense also. Let's leave the light world on you. But for you, let's switch you to the platinum, I think. Because the magic defense is good, but I want a little more overall defense. Let's go ahead and fight this thing, even though it's going to be a little bit of a pain, just because uh, I think it did give us good tech points and experience, so we might as well. So, why did Thing 1 and Thing 2 decide to leave the, par the apartment without you, Phoenix? That is not a good thing, but why did that happen? Yeah, 100 tech points for those things. It was definitely worth fighting them. Cure 2 and Ice 2 and Dual Tech Glacier and Triple Tech Arc Impulse. Ah, oh, yeah, our first Triple Tech. Awesome. Actually, after that, I'm going to come back to the save point down here. focus on the gargoyles first because they have that dangerous move. is at your sister's, so you mentioned you were leaving soon, so Thing 1 just opened the front door and just walked out, and obviously Thing 2 followed. Yep, because children. <laughs> He's just like, okay, let's go! Like, no, no, you gotta... Chrono is flashing, I believe, because of the uh, various, like, uh, upgrades that we have on him that are making him so tanky. I'm pretty sure that's what that is coming from, because he's been flashing for quite a while since we applied that stuff. So, I'm pretty certain it's all that. Chrono leveled up. And, like, yeah, we put on... It's probably the safe helm, possibly the gold loop and Aeon suit. I don't really know. But it's, I'm pretty sure it's something to do with that stuff. So, we got our first triple tech. Next time we get in a fight, I should probably try out our triple tech. Because I am curious. Especially with all gargoyles, because these guys, they're kind of fragile, but they can do a ton of damage. Oh, it's only one enemy, though. I'm not sure if I should do it, because these things are pretty weak, all in all in terms of how much HP they have. We just want to thin the herd before they can use their combo technique or whatever it is. When we're facing something tougher, tup, tupper, tupperware, when we're facing some tupperware, frog leveled up, we, when we're facing something tougher, we'll have to try out the arc impulse. We can't do it with this, but we should at least fight this, because I want its, uh, its tech points and so on. 
Although it is annoying that it has such a high, like, evasion or hit rate, low hit rate, whatever you want to call it, that uh, we keep missing it. Because we cannot use text or items in fight against it. That should do it, I think. Yeah. There we go. In the mid ether. Another barrier. And another lapis. Those are good to have. I think we're gonna have to fight these. But um, Look around. There we go. Marley leveled up. Got a high ether. And another barrier. I assume we have to fight these before we can move on. Yeah. Well, let's just try regular attacks at first. Us, which will be dangerous because we are Let's try Freeze 2. We haven't seen her use Freeze 2 yet since she just got that. Or Ice 2. Ah, I like it. I like it! Chrono learns Chaos Slash and Ice Sword 2. Excellent. Too, even though it's kind of overkill with him because he's such a tanky beast right now <laughs> yeah let's fight this too might as well show here. It will only be a few more minutes. Probably at the first opportunity we get, we will save up. Should I go this way? Is this... So yeah, at first opportunity we will probably save up and tie up the show for the night soon. sure what your time scale is, Phoenix, but I hope that the party goes really well if I don't get to talk to you after the show, but we will see. Chrono leveled up. Now, well, there's a save point. Uh, I will save here, although I think I want to go back before we end the show and check out the interior area down here. But, yeah... business here as soon as Marley is. Now Marley's confused, so let's try water too and just see how that does. Get him, frog! There we go. 
that takes care of a lot of that business. Frog leveled up. Got shield. And got shelter. Now let's. Sh I'm assuming shield is like barrier, but for physical attacks. Yeah, it cuts physical damage by one third, so. Alright. With that, we're going to save up again. And we are going to call the show there for the day. Thank you for joining me for tonight's Cyber Crash. I've been David Zane Aarons. If you enjoy the show, you can follow me on social media at, at David Z. Aarons on Twitter and Facebook.com slash Cyber Crash Show. Tune in on Monday, where we'll probably just be playing more Chrono Trigger. Regular streams are always Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays in the evening from 5 to 8 Mountain Time. For U.S. viewers, that's 4 to 7 Pacific, 6 to 9 Central, 7 to 10 Eastern. International viewers, that's currently UTC 11 a.m. to 2 p.m., and you can figure it out from there. VODs will be archived for newcomers and slackers over at youtube.com slash user slash cybercrashshow. If you like this live content, I may eventually also post some scripted content on that channel, like reviews and reactions and whatnot. And subscribe if you hang on YouTube, comment if you have something to say. The VODs can also be found here on Twitch if you would rather not go to another site to watch them. Uh, and our break music is a, like by A in Mono. The track is Blue Squares, Please. So go to aandmono.bandcamp.com and support them if you enjoy it. We use it under a Creative Commons license. And with that, I am David Zane Aarons, and this has been Cyber Crash. Until next time, zoom out, breathe out, and live like you mean it. Have a good night, everybody. Thanks for watching.